G'day everyone, Jason Haynes here once again, QPL Rural, with another edition of the Haynes Report, your weekly look at rural property and what's been happening around the Riverina. Here, we're back in Narendra, on the banks of the Murrumbidgee, and it is good to see the river slowly getting back within the banks. She's been out for a run around and certainly caused a bit of devastation. We've all seen the footage of, this, of the Murrumbidgee getting out through on the Hay Plains in the last few weeks, so our with thoughts with those people that are dealing with that at the moment, but here in Narendra, we're starting to get life back to normal. We've just opened the Newell and the Sturt in the last few days, so we are starting to see a few movements back through the area again, and just in time for harvest. Harvest is underway in the area. We are make, seeing it very challenging for those trying to find areas that can actually harvest without getting stuck. Uh, spoke to a producer the other day, he had four headers running, and at one stage they were all stuck to varying degrees and in two chase a bin. So a lot of stories that are gonna come out of this harvest that are gonna be uh, one for the record books, no doubt. All right, results this last week and what's been going on in the rural property scene. Our Quambone properties, they never really went public, but Craig has got them now all under offer. All those, that group of four Quambone properties there, they looked a bit like this at one stage, largely underwater, but uh, all those properties are away to local producers up there and uh, been quite a successful result. Mount Olive, officially still got that one going to uh, going to auction there on the first, but uh, a few interested parties we're speaking to there at the moment, so hopefully we can get a result of that. Here locally, Hillcrest uh, wasn't our listing, but it did go to auction the other day, passed in at auction under a vendor bid, and it will be advertised with a price in the next few days. So a, uh, a few slow results there. On the market also this week in different areas, um, we're seeing different results, but just an idea of property prices. There's 131 hectares at Colkean that's gone on the market this week at $3 million, which brings the expectations there at just on $9,000 an acre. Uh, if you're at Henty, there's a block at Henty at the moment that's coming in at $8,500 an acre. Coolerman at $4,500 and Beckham at just under $4,500 an acre for good arable country. So a good reference point there where those, those goalposts have been set now in the market and uh, we'll just see where the results come in with those over the next few weeks. All right, to our new listings this week. I did mention it briefly last week. We've been out to Hillston. We've got the Winton aggregation there. Three beautiful red sandy loam blocks there and uh, well set up aggregation, highly arable, big open paddocks. I think the paddocks there, there's one of the thousand acres, one at 1200 acres, a few smaller ones for stock, but a well set up aggregation there um, of close knit country that has large machinery shed, underground water if you want to develop it for irrigation, only 100K out of Griffith, 10K out of Hillston, um, a beautiful home, um, good shedding as I said, and underground water, a good setup as a as a standalone operation or an add-on block if you're into that broad acre farming or dabbling in that stock market. Um, two deep, I saw two underground bores for stock and domestic water, so no worries at all about running out of stock or domestic water on those blocks. And uh, this one's going up for private treaty. We're doing a few early inspections. If you're looking to expand your footprint, give me a call. Let's fit in an early morning inspection before those headers roll and uh, see if we can get this one done in the next few weeks. Also this week, uh, down at Finley, we've got another dairy aggregation. We'll have this one underway. Uh, another couple of thousand acres of good, solid dairy country in that Finley area. This one set up for a one person operation in the dairy, a beautiful five bedroom home. And uh, yeah, going down that lines of confinement feeding, but this, this dairy operation starts off with growing grain and forage putting it all into that dairy. They're pretty much self-sufficient and a great story in that Findlay area. So if you'd like any more information on any of those properties, please give me a call. Now, as always, if you'd like any more information on anything we've spoken about here today, or if you want an appraisal on where your property might sit in the market at the moment, please feel free to give me a call on 0488 594 450. We'll catch up again next week. Cheers.